so my talk is he is not a crook, why Richard Nixon was a good president. Okay, so Richard Nixon was not as bad of a president as everybody thinks. Richard Nixon was successful in foreign policy while also having successes, successes domestically that ultimately changed the U.S.'s role around the world. So Richard Nixon was the 37th president of the United States from 1969 to 1974. Um, he had two vice president, presidents, Spiro Agnew and Gerald Ford. And he was the 36th vice president of the United States under Dwight D. Eisenhower. He was also a senator from California and a representative. Um, he served in World War II and also ran against John F. Kennedy in the 1960 election. Okay. So Nixon does have a reputation as a bad president. Uh, first things people think of are his failures. So. First would be the invasion of Cambodia and Kent State. So, at the beginning, at the, um, when he took office, um, we were in the middle of the Vietnam War, and he immediately set out to reduce U.S. involvement in Vietnam. Um, so he slowly withdrew troops from Vietnam and gave money to the South Vietnamese to fight their own war. But then in 1970, he authorized the invasion and bombing of Cambodia, which kind of expanded the war. And that led to protests and massacres at college campuses and other places around the country, like Kent State, where nine people died and, or four people died, nine people were injured by the Ohio National Guard. And the other one he is famous for is the Watergate scandal. Um, which was where uh, people uh, that were members of the creep organization <laughs> committee to re-elect the president uh, were caught breaking into the Watergate complex to steal secrets from the Democratic uh, National Committee. And they were put on trial and eventually it came through that Nixon was connected to them and pretty much authorized them do that. And then it was found that he also wiretapped the Oval Office and all the conversations were recorded that went on in there. And eventually he went to trial and um, was ordered to hand over the tapes of um, all the recordings and was impeached and he resigned from office, making Gerald Ford president. So I got a video. I accidentally got my finger in the lens for a few seconds. Yeah. Is this when he's saying it? Yeah. <laughs> He was a crook. But no, but there's reasons why he was a better president. There's like more success. He was a great. But isn't your whole thing about why he's not? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm acknowledging that there is. He did screw up. It's a rebuttal. You can't really argue that. Yeah. Well, basically, why is he, he is. Going? Well, then why are you arguing? Because there's more. His successes outweigh his failures. Everyone overlooks the fact that he's has some success. Yeah, I'm on battery over here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, if it cuts out, it cuts out. <laughs> 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 you know what? <laughs> 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 
It is a remix. Oh, I'm oh, oh, oh. You're doing good, Luke. Luke, can you make that like a songified remix of? Yes, I am planning on doing that. Okay, so okay, let him finish up. People, when people think of Nixon, Richard Nixon, they think of Watergate, and they never look at any of his successes, which were really, really quite amazing. Uh, so, he, um, one of the things he worked for during the Cold War, which he was president during, uh, was the Taunt, which was the relaxation of tensions, and in this case, it was between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Um, the word detente is used to characterize the presidencies of Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, who was president the rest of Nixon's term, so she was resigned. So the first step that, or the first step he took towards detente was that he became the first Western leader to visit China, the com communist China, in 1972, and the visit was an attempt to improve relations between China and the U.S and also pressure so the Soviet Union to arms talks and arm reduction between the two countries, which all would lead to a talk. Um, so the China visit did lead to um, arms reductions and arms treaties, and Nixon was able to achieve arms reductions between the two countries and stop the Soviets from building anti-ballistic missiles, which would have increased the arms race in the Cold War. Um, Nixon also had the policy of Vietnamization, which was where he would remove U.S. troops slowly from Vietnam, reducing their involvement, but would give money and supplies to the South Vietnamese government to fight their own war. And it was kind of a peace with honor, that's what he called it, because we would not be involved in the war with any more, but we wouldn't look weak in the eyes of the Soviets and the communists. Um, and he also established the Nixon Doctrine, which was we would help any of our allies in Southeast Asia, but not with troops, but with money and supplies, just like Vietnam. Uh, he had many domestic successes, which included uh, shifting welfare responsibilities from federal to state level. He reformed health care and welfare for Americans. He um, was a big fight, like, he supported the fight against cancer. Uh, he pushed for environmental reforms, fought enforcement for illegal drugs, enforced the desegregation of schools, which was a major issue at the time. And he was president during the Apollo 11 landings on the moon with Neil Armstrong. And um, he adopted deficit spending to enable to not alienate the middle class and blue collar Americans because the 1970s were filled with uh, recessions and bounce around a lot the economy. Um, he imposed an IDA wage and tax freeze, took the dollar off the gold standard, and all that ultimately led to the end of the major recession by the end of Nixon's second term. Uh, so Nixon was a good president, you just got to look at the facts. Um, there's other presidents that have really kind of screwed up, but n nobody looks at them for that, like John F. Kennedy, Bay of Pigs Invasion, where he really kind of screwed up and... Well, we didn't screw up that bad. Jax, the it was the Cuban exiles, they were... Oh. <laughs> anyway, we almost went to war because of yeah. something that he... Yeah. yeah. He screwed up. But nobody remembers JFK for that. And then Bill Clinton, he did, he had his... Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're proving my point. He did have his blunders, but nobody remembers him for that. Everybody thinks of him as a good speaker and all of that. So why can't we think of Richard Nixon for all like that? Because my work says... Good job.